My grandmother Mimi was my best friend. When I wasn't at school, you could find us shopping together, swinging on the swing set, or watching author on PBS while Mimi cooked her famous cornbread. In 2008, only one month after losing my grandfather to cancer, Mimi was diagnosed with breast cancer. At age 83, she now had to face the grief of losing her husband and now her own declining health. After much prayer, she decided on an aggressive course of radiation and chemotherapy. I'll never forget her physician's reply. She quoted the Bible saying, Psalms chapter 90 verse 10 states, you are only promised three score and 10 years. She said, you have lived your promised years. You shouldn't seek any additional treatment, only comfort care. At this point, Mimi had to decide whether to listen to her trusted healthcare provider or the Holy Spirit within, encouraging her to fight. When she told us of her doctor's advice, I was livid and we immediately found her a new provider. For a year, I watched Mimi battle depression while managing the radiation and chemotherapy. I witness how one's words can impact your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. During a conversation with Mimi, I promised her that I would pursue a career in healthcare to make sure patients feel valued and respected. During my master's program, I took a course on workplace diversity. I learned that many individuals, including my classmates, for feeding into these negative stereotypes based on age. They truly believe that life is over after 70. I knew I had to help bridge the intergenerational gap and combat ageism. Soon after starting my doctoral program, I founded Leave Speak Healthcare. My consulting company offers clients powerful new ways to eliminate ageist elder speak, condescension aimed at older adults, and increase compassionate communication through an intergenerational approach. Sadly, Mimi lost her battle to breast cancer February 2010. This loss is what inspired the next step for Lee Speak Healthcare, building an intergenerational long-term care community aimed at serving residents in under-resourced communities. Young providers will be trained on how to care for older adults without using ageist language and to help residents live out their remaining years with respect and dignity. With Mimi's spirit as my guide, I will be the change agent revolutionizing long-term care.